So let's try and solve the equation log to base 4 x squared plus 3x minus log to base 4 x plus 5 equal to 1. So we need to express this as a single logarithmic expression. So the first thing to notice here is that this is a difference of logs. So we pull in our rules of logs and we see that if we have a difference of logs, it's the same as the log of a quotient. And so we can rewrite this as the log of x squared plus 3x over x plus 5. And we're still equal to 1. Remember, definitions are the whole of mathematics. All else is commentary. So every logarithmic equation corresponds to an exponential equation. And so using the definition of logs gives us the equivalent equation 4 to power 1 equals x squared plus 3x over x plus 5. And we can simplify this because we know that 4 to power 1 is equal to 4. And if it's not written down, it didn't happen, so we'll record what we actually did over here on the left-hand side. And now we have a rational equation. So we can start to simplify a rational equation by multiplying by the denominator to eliminate the fraction. So our denominator is x plus 5. We'll multiply the left-hand side by x plus 5. And because we have an equation, we'll do the same thing to the right-hand side. And now we can simplify this denominator factor of x plus 5 and this new factor of x plus 5. Well, they're common factors, so we can remove them both, leaving us with x squared plus 3x. On the right-hand side, we can expand for times x plus 5. And now we have a quadratic equation, so let's get all of our terms onto the one side or the other. Our x squared is already on the left, so let's get rid of all the terms from the right-hand side. So we want to subtract 4x and subtract 20. We've got to do the same thing to both sides. And we get our quadratic equation. In a kind and gentle universe, we'd know that this was guaranteed to factor. But one, we don't live in that universe. And two, even if this was guaranteed to factor, we usually have to go through a lot of trial and error to find the solutions. So we're not going to waste our time factoring. We're going to instead solve using the quadratic formula. Which gives us the solutions x equals 5 and x equals negative 4. Now, if you don't want to use the quadratic formula because it's too easy to apply and always gives you an answer, you could try to solve this by factoring. And if it's a slow Friday night and you have nothing better to do and you've binge watched everything you can on Netflix, then solving by factoring is a great idea to occupy your time. But solving using the quadratic formula always works and is always faster. So there's no obvious reason why you'd do anything else. Now, it's important to remember that we should always check our solutions. And this is true in general, but it's especially true when we deal with things like equations that involve logs or square roots or exponents or fractions or, well, really pretty much anything. Here, our concern is that since we're taking logs, we can't take the log of a non-positive number. So we check our two solutions. We check x equals minus 4 in the original equation and ask ourselves, self, is it true that the log to base 4 x squared plus 3x minus the log to base 4 of x plus 5 is equal to 1? So we'll substitute in our values of x. We'll do a little bit of arithmetic simplification. And we do need to know the log to base 4 of 4 and the log to base 4 of 1. Fortunately, we know the definitions because definitions are the whole of mathematics. All else is commentary. And so the log to base 4 of 4 is something. So according to our definition, 4 to power b should give us 4. 
And so we sit and stare at this equation, and after a moment we realize that if b is equal to 1, this will be a true statement. So b equals 1, and log to base 4 of 4 will be equal to 1. Similarly, we need to know the log to base 4 of 1, and so our definition says that whatever the log to base 4 of 1 is, we know that 4 to that power gives us 1. And we stare at our equation, and we remember that if I take a number and raise it to the 0 power, I get 1. So this exponent b must be 0. Equals means replaceable, so log to base 4 of 1 must be 0. And so we have to ask ourselves, is it true that 1 minus 0 is equal to 1? And it is, so x equals negative 4 is a solution. We need to go through the same process with our other possible solution, x equals 5. So we'll substitute x equals 5 into the original equation. Do a little arithmetic. Now, at this point, strictly speaking, we should find the log to base 4 of 40 and the log to base 4 of 10. But because both 40 and 10 are positive numbers, we know they have a log. So we can combine those logs because this is the difference of two logs, we could rewrite it as the log of the quotient 40 over 10. And we can simplify this a little bit. 40 divided by 10 is 4. And remember, paper is cheap. So of course you wrote down our earlier discovery that log to base 4 of 4 was equal to 1. And so this is also a true statement, so x equals 5 is also a solution, and so we verified that both are solutions.